Welcome to the Inside Word for 2015. And isn't it quite remarkable, six days into the new year, and Campbell Newman has called an election. An election that will be held within 26 days, with polling day on the 31st of January. This is quite unprecedented in recent political history, to call an election so early. But there's some good tactics to it, as far as the LNP is concerned. Everyone's still on holidays. So most people will go sleepwalking into the election and the country really doesn't turn back on until school goes back or after Australia Day. So that'll be about four days when the swinging voters will start to switch back on on who they want to support. Return the LNP government or choose the alternative which is ALP. I must say when I saw this article yesterday in the Courier Mail, Bikies back Labor for power, I thought to myself, this could be the fault line or one of the fault lines that the LNP will campaign on in the next 26 days. And look, they've got a reasonable record. Good record in health, as they'll tell you. Good record in education. They've got the fiscal uh, consolidation and certainly under control, even though there's still a very high deficit in Queensland. And they do have a plan. And they keep on telling us about a stronger plan for Queensland should they be elected in the next term. On the other side, the ALP will really be focusing on some intangibles, perhaps the, the arrogance of the government, the issue of the privatisation, the issue of the sackings in the public service, and can you trust the government? So it's going to be a very interesting election in the next 26 days. Another tactic which is emerging is that the unions, who clearly will back the Labor Party, are going to be suggesting to voters that they allocate preferences. In Queensland it's a bit different because it's first past the post. It's an optional preferential system. So you'll probably find the unions trying to encourage the minor parties to preference the ALP. So this will cause a different dynamic, not seeing so many preferences exhaust. And the real big sleeper is, can the Premier hold his seat of Ashgrove? And will the line be from Labor, well, who's going to be the next Premier for Queensland if the presumption is Ashgrove will fall to the ALP? So it's a very interesting time now that we're seeing ahead. Queensland's the first to go to the elections. New South Wales will follow, of course, in March. And it's probably another reason why the LNP want to go now, where they don't have to associate themselves with Canberra, whilst Tony Abbott is on holidays. That's all from the Inside Word.